While the politicians equivocate, prevaricate and procrastinate, there's one man who hasn't. In 2015, Pete Casey, a builder from London, sold his house and set off for Brazil. Captivated by the Amazon and the Andes since he was a child, and with the world standing by and watching the rainforest burn, Pete decided he must do something. He gave up his job, sold his house, and started walking the Amazon. Starting at the easternmost tip of the island of Marajo, at the mouth of the river, Pete planned to walk and swim 6,400 kilometers west to the river's source, high in the Andes, and then down the mountain to the Pacific Ocean. He thought it might take him two years, but little did he know that events and circumstances would see him dedicating seven years of his life to his mission. Since he started, he's already spent six years with the flora and fauna of the Amazon Basin, living and working with indigenous communities along the way, documenting his journey, publicizing the problems he sees, living intimately with what is still the largest rainforest on earth, a vital area that continues to be burned and cut down by money-hungry farmers and loggers, while power-hungry politicians often cheer them on from the sidelines. Now, in spite of the many obstacles he's encountered and overcome, in spite of spending all his money, and against all the odds, Pete has finished the rainforest section of his odyssey and begun the long climb out of the Amazon basin and up the Andes. One step at a time, over 5,000 kilometers and six years, he has amassed a wealth of information, understanding and experience that he hopes may one day contribute to publicizing, describing and finding solutions to one of the greatest conservation issues of our time. The reality is that the rainforest is burning while the politicians argue. We give them trillions of dollars in taxes, but even the best of them can only look on, wringing their hands, while short-term self-enrichment and self-preservation policies prevail. The politicians won't help Pete help the rainforest, but we can. Help him finish his epic journey and bring his experience and his voice to bear. The taxes we pay are a drop in the ocean to politicians who have amassed personal fortunes leveraged by our money and our trust. And the message we send falls on ears made deaf by endemic political arrogance and ignorance. Send Pete just a few quid, on the other hand, and he really will try to make a difference. Or if you can't help financially, then help spread the word, follow the blog, link to the website, or start the discussion in your favorite forum. Act now to help Pete become a strong voice for the forests and peoples of the Amazon. We need the rainforest and its indigenous guardians. And just right now, as Pete will tell you, they really need our help.